Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing today? Today is Tuesday at 10 o'clock and my name is Tina Gavrgic. Or you can always call me Northern Stamper. I'm a Canadian independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And if you live in Canada and don't have a demonstrator and want to drop me a message, I'd love to hear from you. Today we are going to be looking at some uh, one of my favorite items from the J July to December mini catalog. This is a great, great uh, catalog that's coming out. has a lot of Christmas stuff in it, so I wanted to show you what's in there. One of my favorite items is called the Gorgeous Leaves. So I am, I uh, love, I love leaves and trees and everything like that. So anything to do with leaves I am right on it so this comes as a bundle which means there's a stamp set and a die that comes with it if you'd like to purchase them together you get 10% off this is called intricate leaves leaf leaves die and I'm gonna be showing you some items that we're gonna be making today we're gonna make two cards today again my name is Tina Kovergic Northern Stamper if you have any questions just drop me a message at northernstamper at gmail.com. That's pretty simple. So, as I said, if you don't have a demonstrator uh, and live in Canada and would love a catalog, let me know. I will pop one in the mail to you. I am going to the mailbox today to mail out a whole bunch of goodies. I've got cards going out. I have got packages going out. I have got catalogs going out. I've got everything going out. Um, I wanted to let you know that uh, I don't want you to miss any classes or events. So you can see I've got a whole list of activities coming up for September, October, November, and December. I've got a lot of fun things. I've got classes. Um, there's one called Simple as ABC, which means these are just basic cards if you've never stamped before. These are good cards to get started with. Um, they are on usually the first Sunday of the month, with the exception of September, which will be the second Sunday, simple as ABC. Um, I always do very simple cards. I prep everything for you for like, like 20 bucks, or if you purchase something um, over $25, the class will be free. I also have uh, technique classes. Um, I have Christmas cards that you can make in um, like a stack of them. You make 10 and I give you PDFs and videos for that. I've got card classes to go. And every month, every month, I got to tell you ladies, I've got lots of a one fun activity every month. I have a bingo event going on in October. I have a holiday camp, which is an all day camp with uh, using the Peaceful Deer Bundle. Fantastic. I You should see the cards that are going on. I've got another, uh, I've got a games night. Um, I've got another, I've got other bingo. I've got games night. I've got uh, every, every month has something going on. So check out my classes and my events. See if what you would like to join in. You can always drop me an email, northernstamper at gmail.com. So we're going to take a look at the gorgeous leaves and the dies. So I haven't created the card yet. So this is always on a wing. So this is always a lot of fun. I like to enjoy that. Good morning, Cindy. How are you doing today? And Angela, I'm glad you could join us. Oh, there's my friend. Oh, there's Gail. Oh, Sandra, I'm glad you could make it. Good. Oh, you signed up for a whole bunch of events. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. These are always so much fun. Um, I know some of them are coming into, we are can do in class. So if you live in Durham region near Ajax, you are more than welcome to join some classes that I have um, at my house. Um, a lot of them right now still will be online. So it doesn't matter where you are in Canada, you can join in and um, uh, participate in all of the activities, the, the bingos, the, the card making, I do a lot of that online. Um, if you do want to come over, pop over, use my stuff, chat a little while, have a coffee, let me know. You're more than welcome to come on over. Classes slowly will begin um, in person here and there, uh, maybe in about November. 
um, thereabouts. Um, uh, so keep an eye out, but most of them at the moment will be online. So if you have any questions, please, please post them in the comments. I will try and keep up with the comments. I am uh, trying a little different here. Oh my goodness, there's lots of people here. Lynn and Corinne and Deb. Oh my goodness. All right, that's fantastic. Oh, Sandra, I still have some uh, package for you. Um, just to let you know, oh, Stamp Camp. Can't wait for Stamp Camp. It's a full day of activity. So, anyways, let's get started. I haven't created the card, so let's see what happens. Any questions? NorthernStamper at gmail.com or drop me a comment below. So, what I have done is we are going to start with... All right. We're going to start with some cards here so this is from we're going to use some of the papers from um, the new uh, mini catalog these are fantastic looking designer series paper or DSP look at the colors in this this is called uh, bumblebee and this is misty moonlight and this is soft succulent I just love the papers I gotta tell you papers are always so much more uh, attractive in person than they are on the camera so I'm gonna make a card using some of the papers from this I am absolutely in love with this this paper set but let's uh, I'm actually gonna use one that's a little bit more subtle and it has a little bit of writing on so I've, I've pre-cut a few of the pieces just to save for time but I wanted to show you what I'm gonna be using so I'm gonna be using some of the dies from this uh, bundle so I have them here there's I haven't taken them out so I wanted you to see what happens so um, I use some of the dies that are uh, in this package and the dies are actually called intricate leaf dies and you'll see why so what I did is I ran them through my stamp and boss machine and they will come out so I don't know if you can see that they're still a little bit attached. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my little roller. Now you'll see there are little, little poke holes on the one side of the dies. And that's so you can get your little brush through and pre-poke out some of the papers. And as that happens, it will pull away from the die itself. Okay. So when you look at the die, oops, let's poke that guy out. You'll see the really intricate, um, um, pieces that it comes with and it will come out in the paper so it does pop out so let's get some more of these out sometimes you have to take a little bit more time and pop them out individually as I'm using with this little pick tool so one end is I got a brush on it and one end is a little sharp part so you can see some of the leaves are oops it's out of the camera there we go um, there we go there a little bit better so okay so let me get some more of these out I did uh, just a bunch of um, in the cardstock colors that match the paper so this is the soft succulent uh, cardstock it's a really nice color so get some of those out so this is this one's my favorite this is the uh, maple leaf reminds me of my my logo if you look at it oh my goodness there's lots to come out let's see if we can get them out quickly uh, the maple leaf I'm glad they came out with that so this looks really cool once out ah, I guess it doesn't want to come out all right come on so I'm just gonna rub this across a little bit okay it wants to be poked out sometimes it's a little bit uh, finicky but by the end result is fantastic it looks like it's snowing here on my uh, my mat snowing green that would be bad okay so I'll poke these guys out when you run them through the stamp and boss machine um, you might have to do maybe back or a fourth couple of times until you get uh, an embossing uh, not an embossing uh, it's like a little pad that comes with it um, they're hopefully coming out with that soon so I'm gonna put these little dies aside so I've used the soft succulent 
I've also got a couple of other colors that I'm going to show you. I just wanted to show you this one for a little bit. Um, I also have some in blue and you're going to help me decide and uh, there's some in in Bumblebee. You're going to help me decide what colors I'm going to put on this card. So hopefully I can see your comments and we'll go from there. Okay. Well, I'll leave that for now. So just wanted to show you. So I got them. I have them all. I'm going to put them all in my little bin here. Everybody has these takeout containers now, don't you? So I'll keep them in here until I'm ready. This way I won't lose them in the table. A couple of weeks ago I did a Facebook Live here and I used the little stamp set from, I think it was from the, the one of the most recent paper pumpkins. And as I was cleaning up, I guess it was so small, like the whole stamp set, uh, that it ended up, I believe, in the recycling bin. So the only thing I got left was the... Um, only sentiment I had used on a block so just be careful put things in little bins like this um, so that snap set is uh, somewhere being recycled anyways okay so I I have, have my leaves cut out okay and you're gonna help me decide on that later um, I have my card base which is soft succulent take my little bone folder kind of flatten it out a bit and what I'm gonna do is I am going to place on the designer series paper that is cut just a little bit smaller than the cardstock. So this, whoop, come on. This cardstock, um, this designer series paper is fantastic. I just love it for fall. It's so pretty, so pretty. And on the back side of this, I was debating, am I going to use the other side or not? I don't know. Okay, so we got that. I really, really like that yellow. That yellow really makes it pop. And I was thinking of putting some lines on it like this. Okay. That yellow really does something, doesn't it? I think I should use it. Um, I'm going to cut this down a little bit. It's a little bit too wide. Uh, that is one inch. So I'm just going to take it down oh, just maybe over a quarter of an inch. Like I said, I'm just kind of winging this as I go along. So it looks like I have to cut all these pieces to the same size. I want you to see what it's like designing from the very beginning so you have an idea of uh, what's involved. So, okay. I have uh, ideas in my head, but I know you can't see them. So, but let us continue on. All right. Okay. I really like that yellow. Don't you think that's fantastic? Oh my goodness. That yellow is just stunning. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down some strips of uh, cardstock. And I think I'm definitely going to be using, oh, that, that yellow. Looks like I cut it a little bit too short on that one. Okay. That one. I'm just going to lay it down first to make sure it fits and to see if I like the design. Okay. That one. Is bothering me a little bit. Maybe I should use a ribbon. What about a ribbon? What do you think? No, that doesn't fit. Now, all right, got to recut that uh, piece. It bothered me a little bit too much. So, okay, gonna cut that down. Start again. That's okay. I will use this piece for something else. Hold on to your little pieces. They are great for. You never know when they come. Are useful these tiny little pieces I don't use so off they go with my stamp set somewhere in the recycling bin okay oh uh, yeah I think I'm gonna keep that yellow in there I really do like that it does add something okay so I have this laid out so I, I know for sure that's where I want my my items and I'm definitely going to use this bumblebee on the back side of this um, designer series paper just I don't know it just adds a little bit so how's everybody doing today it is middle of July can you believe it it is July right middle of July oh my goodness I can't believe time just flies it just goes so quickly before you know it it's gonna be Christmas talking about Christmas I do have Christmas classes coming up got Christmas paper 
I got Christmas music and I got Christmas activities. And, but uh, today we won't be doing that. I have designed some. They are fantastic. And wait till you see them. So, oh, all right. I'm going to add a little bit of glue and pop that on there. I really like that yellow. Okay. Um, where else is... Okay. From one of the die sets, it's called um, Lovely Labels or something like that. And it cuts out these fantastic little label things. These little light label tags. And I'm going to use one of them on top. And my idea, what I was thinking, is taking some of these leaves that we've die cut. And you're going to help me decide what colors I'm going to use. Do I use the yellow? Do I use all three colors? Do I use the blue? Let me know. Should I be using the blue on this? I don't know. It doesn't seem to fit, but let me know. What do you think? Should it be just all green? Green and yellow? Blue and green? So mark in the comment below and, and uh, we'll get on to that. So I got the colors here. I'll put them right here so you can see. And we can determine as we build our card. So what I wanted to show you about this label, this is a fantastic for, for Christmas labels. They come in different sizes and they also come with little bits that you can put on the end to uh, reinforce it. So I'm going to put that on the end and I'm going to use my liquid glue. You use a little dot. Okay. How can I pick that up? Yep. You're going to see I have my nails done. They're all different colors. Again, I like to be different. Okay, put that on the end. Just to add a little pop on the end. So the colors on my nails, pink and purple. Doesn't match my card though. And let's get some ribbon for this card. Okay, I'm going to feed it through. This is also... Um, Evening Evergreen, the ribbon, is which is the same color as the car dark cardstock here. Okay. Right. Okay. There we go. Gonna maybe should we do well do a very light bow, a light knot so it sticks up a little bit. And I'm gonna lay it down. Okay. There we go. So across. So I'm not sure. Uh, let's see what color. Oh my goodness, yellow and green. Okay. All right, yellow and green. We'll go with yellow and green. So I got the green. Let's pop out some of these from the leaf. Bear with me. This is the, the longest part of creating is popping these little suckers out. That's why I die cut these ahead of time. Okay, are they all popped out? Yellow, a bit of yellow, lots of green. Lots of green, all right. Jane says lots of green. And we'll do some yellow. A couple of, we'll pop in some of, oh yeah, very good. Oh, yeah, all right. Got a different, so I wanted to, sh yeah. So here's a tiny little one. It's still in there, okay. Got little pokey holes on the back, very technical. Poke them out, pokey holes. And then lift this guy up. Guess he doesn't want to come out. Come on. Meet your friends. All right. He's being a little bit difficult in here. Convince him. There we go. And we'll put a couple of, and then we'll put some yellow leaves on top, the little ones. Kind of build them all together. I want you to see what's going on here. All right. And how shall we tie these together? I think I'm going to put the sentiment over top to hide, like hold them all together like this. So um, what other yellow leaf do we have here? Okay. This is the fun part about creating a card. It's kind of just shifting them around so it is quite easy I do kind of like that 
All right, maybe hide that behind there. So I think I'm going to have to hide all of this under a label. So I'm going to take a little bit of tape, tape these guys together. I guess I should have done it the other way. There we go. I'm going to tape it from the back. I know for sure I'm going to probably have some, uh, the label over this. I have to have the label. Oh, oh, come on. Stick with your friends. We all stick together. All right. Oh, that's all coming. That actually looks pretty cool. Okay, a little bit more tape. And just like working with flowers, we will hide all these mechanics. Okay. That actually looks kind of cool. All right. So I'm not going to glue it down. It's just so that I can either add or move around a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to get my little, la I'm going to get a label. So I'm going to grab to see what, oh, look at that. I got a circle. Now do I want a circle? Look at that. These are little extra pieces that I have lying around. Hey, the circle actually looks kind of interesting, but does it take away from it? Actually, that are really cool. Hey, look at that. <laughs> I'm going to uh, put the little circle on and then, oh, then we'll put a little leaf over top, a couple of leaves over top. All right, good idea. Okay, so let's stamp a sentiment on this circle. Um, does this one from the, oh, that's too big. So let's see what else we got. And oh, this gorgeous leaves, unfortunately, doesn't have any sentiment, so we got to find something that fits in the circle. Uh, I love this one, Create with Friends. Um, I could do Welcome, if I could find it. That would kind of work for, looks like I'm missing some of these too. Uh, welcome, no, hello, hello. Not, not that one. Let's see what else we got. Okay. All right. I just grabbed one of the elegantly said, and we're going to use for you because, oh, actually, thank you. I know that that fits in there for sure. And let's pull some of the darker color for the ink. We're going to pull the evening evergreen out. Get a block. I must say I'm not as set up as I thought I was. Okay, ink that up with the evening evergreen. This color is fantastic for for Christmas and stuff like that. I think it's going to be a big hit. All right. Okay, so we got this, and we can put lace that on top. That actually is going to turn out pretty cool looking. All right. So let's get these guys glued down. And actually, I think I'm going to use some glue dots, as my friend and I call them, our convincing dots. I'm going to convince it to stay where I want it to be. So let's place that under there. And then you see I have it all tied up so that the it only comes out a little bit at a time. Okay. We'll place that up like that. And yeah, I think that'll, that'll look pretty cool. Got to hide that little piece of tape I have. Add some glue. Okay. And let's pop it up on dimensionals. Okay. Good morning, Lisa. I'm glad you could join me. How's it going there? Oh, Lisa always has the same emojis, so I know who it is. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, Gail, I love the new in color greens. They are fantastic, which is the soft succulent, which is this, and the evening evergreen. Okay, all right, let's pop that up on an angle. And should we add a little bit more? Maybe we should pop it on the bottom coming out. That would actually be a good idea. See, it's always good to have a few pieces left over so that you can just kind of add it in. Actually, this is coming together better than I 
thought it would. Oh, it actually looks really good. So I'm going to leave it at that. Get all these little pieces out of here. I'm going to hold on to these extra little pieces, put them in my little bucket there, and maybe use it for another card. Always hold on to them because it's easier to grab them. That's what I did with the little circle here. So I just pulled it out of the bucket. So there we go. What do you think? That actually looks really, really cool. I'm quite, I'm quite happy with that. So you know what? What have what I should have done is with some uh, soft succulent in here is the little bits of dots. I should have put them. I wonder if I can still do it. All right. Wish me luck. Okay, ladies. Where'd it go? I'm looking for a block. Okay. I'm going to hopefully not lose that stamp set. Let's try. I highly recommend that you don't do it this way. Do it before you lay it on a card. Okay? Oh, that looks fantastic. I gotta tell you though, it's hard. Oh, that just adds so much. Oh, definitely. That looks fantastic. So much better. Oh my gosh, I love it. What do you think? With the dots, without the dots. I love the dots. So that is the first card using the the intricate leaves dies um, from the uh, bundle so that looks really cool and i love the dsp let me know what you think below oh my gosh i'm in love and those little dots really make it i think that you know what i could also do is add some wing costello or some some little oh no i'm falling apart here it wouldn't be a Tuesday without something falling on my head. Oh, what else do we have? I could add some little gems. These are little holly leaves from the new mini catalog. I could pop a few of these in and bling it up a bit. Oh my goodness, that is fantastic. What a great idea. See, you can just keep going and going and stepping it up. I could make this even more elaborate by adding a little bit more um, um, ad embellishments. Oh yeah, look, this is going to look fantastic. Oh, And so a basic card would be just, you know, just the paper and maybe some of the leaves and this and the sentiment, stepping it up a little bit more, adding more leaves. And each time you add more, as you go along, it becomes a lot more um, stunning as it goes along. It becomes more like a wow card. So, reminds me of um, we do uh, card swaps, which means every you make all like say ten of the same cards, send them in to me, and um, everybody participates and makes ten cards, and you'll get 10 cards back. I sort them out and they all become different. Um, so some of them are very simple, which is great because simple is a really good um, card too. And sometimes they are just like, wow, I can't believe that. Oh my gosh, that looks even better. Wow. So these are the little um, golden holly leaves from the new mini catalog. Called, they're called gold holly leaves. Ah, great name for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Karen, I would definitely add, I don't have any, um, like, little rhinestones or anything, but I would put some clear clear ones around. I'm just seeing if I have some. But, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Those little holly leaves makes it. So does that. I'm so impressed with myself. Oh, my gosh. See, this is how you would feel when you create a card join a class with me and you would come back and say, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm just so excited. <laughs> and that's the feeling you would get as you create. Um, a lot of people say, I, I, I can't create, I can't do it. You know what? I'm telling you, join one of my ABC classes. I want, want to say guarantee, I guarantee you can create these cards. And if you can't, and they turn out absolutely horrible, like a two-year-old did it, um, we can discuss it. But 
you, everybody, everybody can create these cards. This card was very simple to make. So join me in a class. So, and you can make this and have this feeling of, wow, I can't believe I did this. <laughs> I'm just so excited. <laughs> All right. So let's move on to another card. I'm just so excited. Ah, I just don't want to part with that card. Okay. Let's try another one. And we're going to use uh, just the stamp sets, the stamps on this one. All right. So this is a very simple card. And do I have the pieces here? I should have the pieces here. Bear with me. Okay. So I'm going to start with a piece of basic basic white cardstock. And this will be mounted actually on a card base. So in the meantime, I want to prep this card and I'm going to use a couple of the colors. So I don't know. Let's see what colors we got. You're going to help me decide. I've got some browns. I've got some greens. So I got some greens. I've got yellow. I've got Cajun craze and I got some reds. So I want you to choose with me four colors. So which is going to be the first color? Let's start with, uh, 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 I'm going to start with Bumblebee, but you're going to tell me what the next color is or color family. Are we going to do brown, green, red, or like an orange Cajun craze? So I'll kind of see if I can put these aside here and you can choose. So what I'm going to do this is getting a little crowded. <laughs> okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the stamps and I am actually first. Ah, oh, that dotty thing really got me thinking. So I'm going to take the ink off my little dots. Okay. And I'm going to take these dots and I'm going to stamp them on one side all the way down. Like I said, I am just winging this, so hopefully it will turn out. If not, I'll flip it over and we'll start again. Okay, so now because I have the yellow here, we need to take something a little darker. Okay, so let me see. Has anybody voted on a color that we're going to use? No, not yet. So let's start with the evening evergreen. So let me know what's the next one, brown, orange, or red. And let's start with my favorite, the maple leaf. Okay, you'll see that the maple leaf, it has a bit of a, a splatter on this edge. I want a little bit bigger block. And it's to give it that kind of, what is uh, like artistic, let's call it artistic stamp okay let's let's see if this turns out Ooh. oh it's okay all right let's let's keep going let's see what happens if not i'll flip it over and do it again if not let's just flip it over and do it again anyways so we'll keep going and we'll see what side we like best and we'll just keep doing it okay sandra says red thank you we will go with a red next and I'm going to be using one of the other leaves. Okay. We'll go with this leaf. And we'll do a couple of red. I'm going to use the Merry Merlot. Which is uh, kind of like a wine color. And so I'm going to angle it a little differently. Oh, that's not too dark, huh? My ink pad must be running out. So let's try this on this side. <laughs> Oh, uh, that is really, I should have just did this before. Okay. We'll do one here. Oh, there we go. It had the, I think I have the ink up and we're going to do one down here. Oh, you can't see. Oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. Oh, actually that looks really cool. And just in case we'll flip it over. We're going to do two sides and you're, we're going to decide what we want to place on the card. Okay. Um, so that was the Mary Merlot. Uh, let's go with the Cajun, Cajun Craze, which is kind of like an, um, an, an brownish orange. So, okay. 
and I'll show you. Let's see. Oh yeah, that'll look really cool. Okay, a little bit of this okay. along the way. Okay, flip it over. See, I think the little dotty things seem to really add something to that um, that image. Okay, I'm gonna just do one more. Just kind of, so just kind of peeking in. I'm coming in. All right. And we got one more. Now, in a, this set, there are these little tiny leaves. And that's what I'm going to put in between here. So, let's go with a dark color because it's kind of um, in between. So, crumb cake, Sahara sand. Let's go with a soft suede because that's a little... Oh, actually, early espresso might work better. Let's go with early... We'll try them both, okay? And see how that goes along. Okay, we'll take out the thank you off this. I need the block. Okay, get our little tiny leaves. Add them in. This is all about creating cards. It's all testing. Oh, wow. I think I have to ink this one up too. Okay. It's all about testing. It can't go wrong. Okay, that one is too light. We're going to go with early espresso. Okay, now, I think what happens is, because um, it's in the basement and I have the dehumidifier running, it must dry out some of the ink pads a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Be careful as you press. Um, I pressed a little bit too hard and out came an image. There we go. And we'll add a little bit more on down here. Okay. And if not, we'll, you know what? I think I really like the other side, but we'll finish this up just in case. I think the other side has a little bit, yeah, you know what? I'm with it. It's this side. <laughs> okay. Now, we have this on here. Let's add a sentiment. And I could simply stamp it just on here, um, which is not bad. It would look great. And I would use a nice dark color. But I like it so that it pops up with a little bit of... Let me look in here. What have I got? Oh, my God, I still got more circles. Look at that. Now, these little circles are from uh, from one of the other dies that I have. Actually, that would look really good. That would look really cool, don't you think? Woohoo! All right. Okay, I have an idea. My little, my little leaves. Okay. Not all, just... Okay, let's add some little leaves to this. See if I can get it on. There's one, two. Come on, need more ink on this paper. Oops. Okay. Let's see how this turns out. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. See, my goodness, all these things we can do. All right, so let's place our sentiment stamp on there. Again, I'll use the same sentiment stamp. You don't always have to use the same stamp for everything. You can cross them over. That's one of the great things with Stampin' Up. They all look fantastic together, as do the colors. In a couple of weeks, I've got this really cool Facebook Live I'm going to be doing. I'm going to teach you how great these colors work together so which is the right side okay let's put our little thank you on here and you know what let's try should we put the little leaves on oh we'll just put them on top like that what do you think behind on top like that a little thank you seems to looks like it needs something okay what does it need Okay, it needs ribbon. So, 
Okay, so let's grab, love this dark color. So I keep drawing in the, the different, the dark color. So it comes all the way through. As I was saying, in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna show you how to create a, some cards using different colors and how they all match. It's one of the great things about this. All the colors match, doesn't matter what you use. So you don't wanna miss that. Okay, let's check this out. And let's place it on, oh, look at that. I, I embossed this, I was thinking of using it. Oh yeah, that's really cool. I'll offset it. Let's see, can't really tell. To cut off a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna pull this ribbon off. I wanna, I embossed a piece of Cajun Craze. Let's take a little bit off so that you can see the embossed portion. And that gives it, steps it up again a little bit. It's always a way to step it up. Okay. Put my tape back on. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, you can see that this is embossed with the bark embossing folder. So the embossing folder, what you do is you put the cardstock in between and you run it through your stamp emboss machine and it turns out fantastic. So this is called bark. Okay, I've lost my glue. I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna glue that on the back and I'm just gonna offset it. So I'm gonna tuck it up into the corner. So you'll see that some of it's uh, over here, but most it's all tucked up in this top left corner. Let's add some dimensionals onto the, this card. Oh, wrong one. Right. Okay. So if you have any questions, uh, please mark them down below in the comments. I love to answer them. And coming in August is a great time to, to add these supplies to your, to your own, um, to your own stash. They have a, a special coming up that when you get the starter kit, um, you can add an extra bundle that onto it and I can help you choose that and make the most for your money. So if you think that you have to sell anything, honestly, I swear you do not, you can just buy this just for yourself. A lot of my uh, team members just buy for themselves and it's great because I do offer help and free classes for anybody that is directly on my team. So let's add these on. So there are a lot of benefits to grabbing the starter kit. Oh my gosh, look at that. That looks fantastic. Again, there's that feeling. I can't believe I did that. And that is just from an idea I had in my head. I could add some, um, some bling. Uh, maybe I'll add some bling later, but oh, maybe I should add more, like I make a little bow. What do you think? Should I make a little bow? Um, there's oh so much you can do and you everybody can create. I am telling you, give a class a try and you'll be surprised that you, what you can make. Oh, that's pretty good. There we go. Or if your list of wants is at least close to a hundred dollars, let me know. I'm going to help you make the most of your money. I'm going to help you make it go further than, than it, um, than it is. So there are the two cards. Let me know if you need a, uh, a catalog, there's the celebration. So when you spend $60, you can choose something for free from the celebration. All the supplies we use today are from the mini catalog. And these are the two cards that we did. Very simple. I hope, you know, you can see 
they were very simple as they came along. Let me know which one you like. Oh, now that's a really tough choice. Um, northernstamper at gmail.com. Please drop me a message. Uh, join my team. Have some fun. Let's get crafting and let me know what you think. Watch the rest of this week. I have some special videos created on cards that I've made. Uh, some of them are on YouTube. Some of them are on uh, the community page. So drop by that and see what, um, what I've got going on. And don't forget, drop me a message. Love to hear from you. Thank you for joining me today. Oh, I'm still so happy. <laughs> you can have that feeling too. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Take care, ladies.